Yep. It's snowing. And there's ice. And we back in the igloo, people. Season 8, Episode 5. And for the people that don't like seasons and snowstorms. Episode 53. <laughs> 53 is a tired number. <laughs> if you add 2 to 53... You'll have the number of OG significance. And I'm very tired today. But I got energy for you, family. Let's go. Hey, yo. What's going on, man? It's your beard, man. Beard Jedi, a.k.a. the Black Alice B. Keaton, a.k.a. Shoebox Shakur, a.k.a. the Boss Kick Ross, a.k.a. Iron Knight Tyson, a.k.a. Albert Shoehost, a.k.a. Kirby Fuck It. AKA Black Sock Gang 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 and the AKA that matters the most, Jack Swagless. This is Talking Kicks. This is season eight. This is episode five featuring the mighty Kick Talkers. Now we're going to try to audio. I know, right? I, I, ain't, I ain't going to do too much, man. My headset quit working. My beats is gone. Dr. Dre, what's up with that shit, bro? It's my second pair of beats. I'm not fucking with you no more. He um, feel it naked out in these streets. Yeah, so you know, y'all <laughs> talk about my mom and shit. I can't hear none of it. Uh, so it is what it is. We're gonna get into this list. This is the season of unpopular opinions. Make sure that y'all are in the show and you like the show, like the show. If you don't like the show, dislike the show. If you could let us know what we could do to be better, other than be on time. We can't control that shit. The fact that Caddy is here regularly and ain't no rats gnaw through any of his shit is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's say what's up. Let's get this roll call out the way. What's going on? T Satch, aka Love My Kicks 25, aka Be Healthy 365. Thank you for placing another lift heavy order last week. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for keeping me afloat. I appreciate that for real. Don Turner, what up, bro? You're on time today, but we're not. But we appreciate you for waiting with us. I see V's kicks in the building. I think me and V's kicks are friends again. I I, I think we cool. Hold on. Is this thing on? <clears throat> me and V's kicks ain't friends. Okay, Gaddy. So disrespectful. Jamie White. Jamie, I saw you got to get your pair of uh vintage, what are they calling those ones? The 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 turquoise, the, the turbo green ones. I saw you got to get the pair of those. I was looking out for you. I you know. The fellas can tell you I was looking out for you. I was trying he to was. get you there. He was. But you, you got them, so I'm glad you got them. Good looking she on, out. She on to the next one. She looking for them blue chills. I, I know. You know, it, it only took – that's why I was trying to get them as quickly as possible because I knew she was going to have them and I'd be left holding the bag. So Jamie, like, I'm scared of commitment. On to the next one, baby. <laughs> I got him. We're moving on. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, RTS-501, Mr. Jokes. Yeah. What's going on, bro? We see you in the building. I see Jamie Patterson up in here. Yo, yo, yo. I, I can't do that. That's copyright, right? I can't do that. Mm -hmm. So, hey, hey, Jamie Patterson, how are you? I'm just going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. Uh, Kyle Park 81, what's going on, family? Appreciate you for coming back. I see Ben Yarish. Ben Yarish said Cadillac Jackson. Can you like the damn video? Uh, you must say yes. Uh, uh. Yeah, <laughs> I told y'all I ain't liking no videos this season. Son of a bitch. Son wow. of a bitch. Uh-oh. I see Hop Dog 18 in this thing, man. Hey, Hop Dog. Hey, I appreciate hey, you. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Hey, hey, listen, just the, the opportunity for me to see snow is a blessing because I know that where you at ain't no snow. So that's a blessing for you. And we appreciate that, Hop Dog, because we appreciate you, man. We appreciate, we appreciate you. you, man. Hey, Hop Dog, man. Look, your presence is a present, man. I appreciate you, Hop Dog. Just want to let you know that. Uh, Hop Dog, your PE will be in the mail tomorrow, by the way. I will get that in the mail for you tomorrow. Uh, let's see. KB Fresh Kicks is in the building there, Cadillac. <sighs> now, see, we about to start this tournament. Are we doing that tonight? Um... We can do the tournament seating tonight on the show. Ooh, yeah, we can do the tournament seating tonight. I have the 16 contestants live from snowy New York. This yeah. show's going to be interesting, y'all. I don't know what the lace up is going to look like, but we got to get this seating together so we can get this tournament done and hopefully get y'all the fuck out of our hair by the last episode of the season. 
because we ain't fucking with y'all for two weeks. Okay, so yeah. Uh, but KB Fresh is in the building. I see who else we got in here. Danny Allen, what's going on, Danny Allen? Thank you for coming back. I see the soul makes up in this thing. Talk about what time we start. We start when we mother fucking start soulmates oh gee holla at him <laughs> don't cost you nothing take a chance as you go wear my fits on the playground because we fly that's for sure bad boy take that take that take that take that take that damn I see Big Light 46. What up? What up? What up? What up? Thanks for coming back, fam. Black ass Africans up in this thing. Happy Wakanda to you, black ass African. Sneaker Files back in here two weeks in a row. Thank you for coming back. Gabriel Kicks 23. Did the show start already? I don't see anyone. Look, man, we a little tardy, okay? You live in New York. You understand the struggle. He should understand the struggle. He know all the trains was broke. You know how it goes. What's going on, paychecks with the double X? What's good? What's good? Come on, Williams. Hey, man. Come on. That green box right there? That's the LeBron's <laughs> if you still want them. I'm just still saying. Still waiting. Still waiting. Let me know if you're trying to get them. Otherwise, they're going to go to Caddy so they can get laced up. If you lace them up, I got to charge you extra. I got to charge you extra because I got to give him that money back. His finger's going to be bleeding. That's you know what I'm saying? That's, and he used, that's his good nose picking finger. So we got to give him his money back for that. I see fresh kicks up in here. What's good, family? Mr. Bell76, what up, what up, what up? PR Nicole's up in this thing. What's going on, Footer Society? I see old man sneakers up in here. Welcome, 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 bro. GTC Reels for Cadillac one time. Funko Pop Squad in the building. God damn it. That's, Hell like, no. that's OG. Man, fuck that Funko Squad. Fuck that Funko shit. <laughs> Fuck a Funko Pop. I'll beat a Funko ass. <laughs> I think that's all we got in here. Warrior Blood 510. Yo, what's up, fam? Always keep me in the loop. Well, I appreciate you, man. Grip kicks up in this thing as well. What up, and man? I think that's it. Is that did everybody? You hit, did you hit Trady? If you did, I apologize. I didn't hear you. Uh-uh. I missed Trady. So who we got? Trady, Trady kicks. kicks, yeah. Trady almost, kicks. What's going almost on? forgot. Almost forgot. Lars Young. I didn't see Lars. Is Lars in here too? Yes, Lars is in here. I, you know, I don't want no smoke with Lars, man. Make sure we say what's a. Hey, I say it again, Lars. Yeah, young. I don't want no problems, man. You know, them Cali niggas be extra. Got to go ahead and say that. We got the the light skin king is in here. Trady Kicks is in here. Y'all, oh. hey, I'm just saying. Make sure y'all represent. Y'all hey, king in here. Tuck in your shirts. And you got a new new. Uh, did you, did you hit a uh, D Beck one three four? D Beck, I think that's D Beck that uh. I follow and he follows back on uh on yes, the ground. It man. is. He he just uh, did a new subscription. So thank yeah. you for subbing D Beck. D Beck got some thank dope ass kicks as well. Dope collection. Yes, he does. And I see Q the Queen is up in here. OG. Royals. <laughs> Q the Queen is popping. I saw you put up your video, say you ain't get shit. Every once in a while, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? This week I ain't got shit. I don't know what the pickups looking like. I ain't got shit. I just got what I wore today. So you know. It's like that. It's probably gonna be like that for a minute. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Solutions for kicks is up in here as well. What up? What up? Maybe that's it. If I missed you, shout it out. Oh, big hurt. Big hurt. Big hurt. Big hurt. Big hurt had me fooled because now he's doing two parters. Uh... Videos was good. You know what I'm saying? He got my little creature feature was fit was put up in there, and then. We got to see a homicide. Big Hurt. Look, I need the homicides in their separate videos. I got to have homicides in a separate video. Did y'all see that? Listen, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Big, Hurt, Big Hurt had me fooled because Big Hurt put up some big old booty on his on his, on his his page. Yeah. And I'm sitting up there looking at it like, boot them butt cheeks, boot them butt cheeks. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I flipped to that. When I flipped to the second part, Exactly. <laughs> I just see somebody get hit by a truck and go fly. I was like, "What? What?" Yeah. Big hurt. We gotta. Can we? Can we get the murders in a separate video? I, I'd appreciate that. You know, I'd appreciate you if we could just get the murders 
and another one. That, that'd be dope. Uh, so let's get into this, man. Let's go ahead and get into a hump day heat. Let's get into our pickups. And then we're going to holler at Caddy to see how we're going to do this seating. And then we're supposed to have an unpopular opinion because that's what the season is. I'll try and get that in, but I have no idea what the lace up is going to look like because time is going to start to be. But it's going to be interesting. All of that is lace up. It's, it's lace up ish. Oh, lace up. Okay. Yes. Well, that's what it is. We're going to call it all lace up. We're going to get as much as done as possible. So I see the chat is popping. Y'all having a good time. Hop down said, I can never watch Big Hurts videos all the way. I'd be yelling at my phone. I know, man. He disrespectful as fuck. That's because Hop Dog is saved. Hop Dog, like. That's I true. Hop Dog is better than all of us. I just want y'all to know that Hop Dog has Jesus in his life. I, I, I text Hop Dog one time and the Holy Spirit came right back. I said, I got the wrong number. <laughs> I got the wrong number. I was about to say, fuck shit. I was saved. I met Beard and that went out the window. So. You going to blame that on me? Yeah. You had tattoos before you met me. Listen, I said I was saved. That means I went and found Christ as, when, as my savior. When, bef before or after the tattoos? This was somewhere in between. No, ain't no damn in between. If you between no tattoos. In between. I went in front of the church and said the Lord is the Jehovah Jireh is my provider. Did the pastor then tattoo you? No. But then the, 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 the guy, guy named Nike the next week tattooed me. Oh, but then you're not saved no more. But I went back. You can't put no markings on your skin and saying Leviticus 35, 67, 45 in the paragraph in the fifth page on the second side that you can't have no tattoos. We you really do this. Mark of the beast, you the devil, and you're dying three times and going to hell four times. So that means we both go to hell on a scholarship because. I wasn't trying to go to heaven. I don't want to be in heaven with the goody goody. See, I didn't see. I didn't know this. You didn't give me this memo before we met. If I would have knew this, I wouldn't have got on the bus. It's not my fucking problem. Okay, use your gift of discernment. Holl on the armor of God. The armor. Oh, God, oh, 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 gee, don't God. don't laugh. You you on the bus oh, too? God. You Jesus on the bus Christ. too? Jesus <laughs> Christ, put on your armor of Jesus Christ and make the decisions. Don't be putting that on me. Now, you want to come down to the furnace with me? That's what you're going to do. Caddy's not saved. He can't blame that on me. OG, come on back. Come on back, OG. Don't let them scare you off. Don't let them scare OG, you off. OG didn't fuck with us. He ain't saved either. It's too late. I, look, OG's an L.A. Neither, what, neither one of y'all can unsave Listen, me. Anybody watching, anybody watching this show, you screwed. When you let's, get to the gates, they're gonna be like, "Let's just." Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer. I'll answer for it. But neither one of y'all can unsave me. Thank goodness. Hey, I'm just saying. Thanks up. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of people in this chat that ain't going to heaven either. Y'all gonna be right next to us going, in the furnace. Going to hell in a handbasket. Y'all gonna be saying that gate, and they gonna be like, "Well, Gabriel." Uh, Seems like everything. Ah, 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 ah. You been fucking with them talking kicks, niggas. No, 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 my friend. Boom, 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 boom. Going down. Going down. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, the elevator on, on the, you know, going down plays Anita Baker. <laughs> <laughs> they also had a pop lock on the Jesus Christ. Uh, but today I went with some heat. Still getting through this Black History Untold Truth collection. I had on my satchels, them satchel page, mm. Mm. Untold Truthuses. Had them on today. Um, this was the first. I don't think I got these. They were were these DS Caddy. I don't remember if these were DS. I thought they were. Um, didn't, didn't you get those from overseas? Isn't that the period these are the I got from Australia. Yes. Yeah. I, so, think. <laughs> I think these were DS, but this is what happens when you wear a shoe that is 10 years old, 12 years old. Paint oh, coming. That, that paint started chipping as soon yeah, as you wore them. Started chipping. Uh, which is fine. That's what happens when you wear your shoes. So I'm not bothered by that. Um, but I'm glad I got to wear them today. If and you I, uh if you want to get them repainted, uh oh your paint chipping, chipping. Yeah, it's chipping, chipping. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's a dope shoe. Very good quality. Glad I was able to put these on and rock them out. I ain't do shit today, but go see a movie. Uh, don't go see Alita. <laughs> oh, really? It's not bad. It's just very long. 
and you already know that it's going to be like it's a long build up for a second movie. Mm. So if that doesn't bother you and you like it's got good action, but if that doesn't bother you, go see it. For me, I could have seen anything else. So I'm good on that. Thank you in the chat. Hop Dog, GTC Reels, Trey D Kicks, Jamie Patterson, Solution for Kicks. B Frank, what's going on, Brian Franklin's Kicks? Uh, you know, I, I found another 13 of those. I, I can't find my size, but I did find uh, the 13. I, I've seen the 10 and a half, and that's about it, OG. Yeah. Unless so. you want to cut off pinky toes. Uh, mm, no, not going to happen. No? I'm you don't need all the toes, that. OG. That shit's overrated. Yeah. Listen, you can, you can survive on seven toes. Mm -hmm. You can't. Okay. Ain't most, nobody look. Ain't nobody looking. Yeah. Most most black people once they get to fifty, they losing the toe anyway. Oh, see, see I, I don't need you to the be sugar, that boy. <laughs> Listen, the sugar, <laughs> the sugar gets us quick. You already done messed up the floors on my elevator. Now you tell me you're not giving up toes. I'm, this is just not starting well for the old I, man. I'm sorry. Let's go. Ahead. <laughs> oh, gee, save us all. What What did you wear today? I cannot save you today because I did not leave the house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this oh. is it. Now cue the. Ba -ba -ba -da. Oh, he got the cold forty five loafers. <laughs> Works every time. The Clark bandits. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, with yeah. the, with, oh, hey, OG with was sliding the around jack, the house uh, with the lumberjack to match. Yes, <laughs> OG, OG was rocking up that my bike pump. <laughs> OG got in them sugar ones. Hey. God, damn, OG. Hey, that's what it is. Hey, but no, 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 Caddy. These are not the sugar ones. <laughs> wait, because the sugar ones they fold it over in the back because you just, you just <laughs> put them on like that. These, these not the sugar ones. They still good. They, they, mm -mm, they not the sugar ones yet. You have to know the difference. The sugar <laughs> ones look like this hair because they it? all folded over. You just slide your big ass slide foot in there, in there. And, then it, and, it's, and it goes out like that on the side. But these are not the sugar ones. They kind of, they the prelude to the sugar ones, but no, no. They're not the sugar they ones. They ain't the sugar ones. Jamie Patterson said it's the same thing I wore today. So that's what's up, man. You got to rock those. The Debo 4 is what Big Hurt called them. <laughs> Solution for Kick says, you looking like you about to yell at some kids in the yard. Hey, 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 get out there. That's what, exactly what those are. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Good shit. Caddy, what did you rock today? Save us, brother. Save us. Listen, I'm not even going to get them. I had on the ACGs today. It's looking like Antarctica outside, so. We'll let you live. We'll let you live. It's snowing out there. We'll let you live. Chat, what did y'all rock today, man? Let's get to the chat. What did y'all have on? Y'all was laughing like a motherfucker. Y'all might not have had nothing on. I need those. Those are my size. No, nah, Jamie Patterson ain't my size, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we going to fight over those. I got them all the way from Australia. Square up, okay? <laughs> That's what size they are. Square up. House shoe threes, the Bob Parker ones. They all naming your shoes. The, what you got in my 40s, the Bill Cosby 13s, yeah, the Theo Huxtable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jamie White said that I had on the proper shoes for the DMV today. And that's what's mm -hmm. you ain't leave the crib, so Jamaicans love their clocks. Hey, you know, that, that is OG, he, he's a certified honorary Jamaican. So, <laughs> wait, 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 See? That's Western Caribbean. I ain't gonna do the that. Virgin Islands is Eastern Caribbean. No bumba clot in St. Thomas the Man. No, hey, listen, hey, listen. Yo. It's a family show. What you not no, gonna do? Child. What you not gonna I do? I'm just correcting you because listen. me want you to run up on the wrong person listen. and say that thing, and it's problem, the man. You ain't gonna get loud in those. I smell bacon in the house threes right now. <laughs> it is bacon. <laughs> Waffle and bacon for breakfast and my no smoke. I don't want no smoke. Air Max 90s for Mr. Bear 76. Flyknit trainers. Your only pair of sneakers. Sneaker files. What the fuck did we miss? You saw the collection? Yin Yang ones, aka the snowshoe ones is what Don Turner had on. Uh let's see. Postal player exclusives, aka where my check for hot dog 18. Weatherproof raised by wolves, Reebok Classics. Okay, D Beck. With the hot shit. Work boot threes for grip kicks. Playoff eights mm. for the rain for Artez. Red and black work boots for the soulmates once again. Soulmates wear that shit every week. Wait, how long has got phone posits? 
What I happened? Thought, I thought I thought Lars got rid of everything but runners. How how he wore phone posits today? He bought some Jordans too. You can't trust Lars. Lars Lars done retired and came back. Retired I'm, and came back. I'm confused. Retired and came back. Lars is like our version of Stephon Marbury. I thought Lars he was already in the Hall of Fame. Now you're telling me that he's the MVP of the All Star Game. Wait, what happened? Lars done went to China and came back like I'm home and I'm a champion. Lars be out here lying in the street. It's lies, young. <laughs> That's his name, Lies Young. Oh, oh, yeah. his name. Falayo, Falayo, uh, Falayo Morning. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Lars, I don't want no smoke. If you need their address, let me know. Hit me oh. in the DM. Wow. Yeah, oh. in Listen, I'm already going to hell. Might as well take everybody with me. You Nino Brown, you ain't shit. I'm snitching. <sighs> you ain't shit. I am snitching. Neon 95s for Heads Ain't Ready. What's going on, Heads? Appreciate you. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. What did y'all pick up? I didn't pick up shit. So since OG went first, or what he rocked, Caddy, what did you pick up this week? Well, I'm actually just opening up boxes now just to see. Uh, God damn, you late on everything. You late to the show. You late with your pickups. Shut you up. Got, is the bracket Shut up. Ready? Shut up. <laughs> Didn't I say we was doing seed in the day? Shout out. <laughs> Didn't I say that? I said that. Chat, you heard me say that. I said we were doing seed in the day. I'm sorry. Caddy hits people. It's in his it's in his blood. No, no, black ass African with people. I That's true. People. Black ass African hit people too. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. Caddy, just whatever you want to do, whenever you want to go. The show All will right. be over in about an hour though. First thing. Ooh. Infrared sixes, and I'm not even gonna lie, these shits is purdy. We don't say I'm not gonna lie, we say uh, I'm not gonna hold you. Oh, oh I'm sorry, that's the young kid you. saying we got oh, you, you mean, oh, you mean like Snipe, like Snipe Jones? Yeah, we got it, we got it. I'm trying to figure hey, out, hey, listen, listen to, I ain't gonna hold you, but yeah, I'm studying all the Q's men so I can be hip, yeah, and winning hard again. Oh. So I got, I ain't gonna hold you. So oh, is that know, like you, say like you said last week? Yes, no, old man don't know that either. So you gotta, you gotta say it like snipe. You gotta be like, "Hey, I ain't gonna hold you, but uh, right, right, I'm studying." Oh, dog! Like, oh, dog! Yeah, I'm studying. That's yeah, yeah. We gotta say all that shit. Yeah, you know, we got we got to make you feel at home now. Yeah, you know. But yeah, these infrared sixes. If you ain't pick them up, pick them up, dog. These, these is oof. Oh, these is pretty. These is pretty. And we already had what two restocks? Yes. At least, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, um, I'm getting rid of my 2014. So if anybody want my 2014s for a nice price, let me know because I'm rocking the fuck out of these shits. The 2014s look more pink, right? Uh I gotta be somewhere. I mean, I, I should know there was nine million comparison videos on YouTube. I should know. And I'll be posting nine million and one in an hour. Oh, well, yours is the official one, OG. So <laughs> none of the other ones matter, goddammit. OG ain't posted it, it ain't shit. All right, so this is the 2014 one. Okay. And this is the 2000. Y'all seeing this live? Look at that. Let me get the other shoe so y'all can just see what it looked like. Two thousand nineteen, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. And yeah. There is a difference. There is a difference. Two thousand nineteen, nice boy. Two thousand nineteen, nice. <laughs> Anybody want these? Let me know, cause I ain't keeping these shits. Ain't no reason for me to have two pair. They will come with the free smell of a toe tag in that motherfucker too. And a certificate to hell. Don't forget that. <laughs> the new book on the UNCs is better than the 2019 infrareds. Okay. I saw that I saw those UNCs. I wanted to get those, but I pump faked. I pump faked. They had them at Dick's when I was in Houston and I pump faked. Obama is at the Duke and USC game. He's so disrespectful. The tickets was already like three hundred, three thousand dollars or some shit. Shit. I so disrespectful. What else was. you got, Caddy? Second thing I got, and as you can see, I'm opening up the box literally right now. Um, somebody help me with a oop. 
I would I would say the plus size John Stockton over there helped me with hey! the oop. New AKA alert. <laughs> and uh shout out to um courtside in, in courtside in North Carolina. Hey, we don't give our names yet. They ain't been vetted. But uh yeah, so we got uh these things. Woo for the people in the ride on their way from the side chick house, what are those? These are the animal print Air Max ones, and Lord Jesus, the pony head down. Now, I want to go ahead and get y'all prepared. Caddy has animal print Air Max ones. He has Kith Chimeras, which also have animal print. And he has a pair of Safari shorts. Yes. Which means that he's probably going to go ahead and get that goddamn sweatshirt. <laughs> Ooh, it's looking like the zoo in this motherfucker. I love it. Damn. Way to go. And they were a good price. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. We tried to get them from another location, but it didn't work out. So we got them from another location and they put them on. Yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, and they, oh, oh. <clears throat> Listen, y'all gonna see me at Sneaker Con. Y'all, gonna, y'all might see me at Complex Con with some leopard shorts on and these and these. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm definitely buying, now I'm buying the cheetah sweater. I'm buying the cheetah sweater. That's it. Look, look at the chat. The Air Max ones match Caddy's bed sheets. Uh <laughs> Max said he's channeling semi. Solution for kicks said Jumanji over in that piece. Yeah. Ooh. Average ticket price for the Duke game was $2,600. Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Jamie Patterson calling you out. What are sneaker files doing knowing about your sheets, Caddy? Uh, first off, my sheets ain't animal print. They are black satin sheets. Ask, ask my wife. He's a lie. He's a lie. His sheets ain't animal print. They're actual animal. He sleeps on elephant sheets, nigga. Said I sleep on black bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. OG, what did you pick up this week? Wait, Katie, is that it for you? That's it. I'm good. Just two. What did you pick up this week, OG? Nothing for myself. Uh, an extra pair of infrared sixes. Uh, for the homie black ass African and uh, uh, blue chill for my daughter, but I couldn't get the right size, so they're going up on StockX. I have eight and a half if somebody needs it, otherwise, in the next hour, it'll be on StockX. Eight and a half for the retail, eight and a half for um. I'm asking for the people. No, uh, let me <laughs> clarify. I'm asking for the people that's going. No, right. not, not, no, not, not. For, if for the retail, I can just send it back to the store. There you so, go. So if y'all need, you want to sell for months, yeah, you need an eight and a half in that shoe. OG got you. I'll let them, or otherwise they're going on StockX, which means I'll be sold by tomorrow morning. That shit is gonna go fast. All mm-hmm. right. So we got to do the seating, and we got to do unpopular opinion. I'll give yes, you sir. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and do the unpopular opinion now because I don't think that we've got a lot of people in here that will even chime in. So it's probably not a good one, but I don't give a shit. It's my unpopular opinion for this week. So I think that conventional wisdom for people that are fans and are casual fans of wrestling is that The Rock is the best black wrestler of all time. I would say my unpopular opinion is not only, like it's a two-parter, But the part that I'm arguing is that he's not the top black wrestler of all time. The top black wrestler of all time, in my opinion, is Booker T of Harlem Heat, of WCW, of TNA, of WWE. Booker T is an all time. He's not black. See, that's that's part of it. Uh, The Rock has a black father. So grip kicks. He's black. Um, Booker T is the top one half of the top black wrestling tag team of all time. Harlem Heat. He carried WWE as champion 
when they got sucked in by w, uh, WWE. I'm sorry, he was he carried WCW. When they got sucked in to WWE, he got shysteed out of a championship run by Triple H. You ain't shit for that, Triple H. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for that shit. Booker T got robbed. He was the biggest athletic nigga doing flipping. He did a flipping leg drop off the top rope called the Harlem They got cool on Booker T. They said, okay, what else can we do? He came up with King Booker. King Booker was a whole nother run. And then he got to run with gold dust. But, and then he became a commentator. Now, look, I won't hold you. I said it right. <laughs> Booker T as a commentator was horrible. He was often drunk and or high. But it was great to listen to Booker T. Booker T is the greatest black wrestler of all time. Ron Simmons, Junkyard Dog were cool. None of them were Booker T. Booker T was in the ring. He was dope. On the mic, he was dope. Ahmed Johnson, if you don't sit down, Don Turner, he couldn't even talk. Mark Henry? <laughs> Mark Henry's dope. I can't front on him. Mark Henry's dope. But Booker T is doper. Booker T is the dopest black wrestler of all time. Mark Henry would be up there. Number three, number two. Uh, Shelton Benjamin would probably be number four. Kofi. Wait, 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 wait. You, you forget my man. Who? Norman Smiley. Norman Smiley's definitely top 10. Norman Smiley's definitely top 10. Elix Skipper. <laughs> Another the Norman, the Norman Wiggle. <laughs> the Norman Wiggle was dope. Um, <laughs> Jay Lethal is probably top three. Jay Lethal is probably three or four. Probably three or four. Y'all are a lie talking about Coco Beware. This is the 80s talking. That's that's what that is. Coco Beware. How many classic matches does Coco Beware have? I'll wait. If you don't shut up, hop down and talk about Virgil. He <laughs> said, so what about Virgil? <laughs> so... That's that's it. That's it for me. Pro, pro wrestlers more than what's in the ring. Seventy five shango skill outside the ring. No one played that game as good as The Rock. Um, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. The Rock was a, a master of catchphrases and giving you the talk. But we talking about wrestling. He's not fucking with Booker T. Booker T was able to do that shit on the mic and in the ring. And outside, everybody remembers the, the Stone Cold and uh, Booker T grocery store fight. It's Booker T. <laughs> it's Booker T for me, dog. I ain't got to say no I more. I can't, I can't argue with that. I, I ain't got to say no more, man. OG, I know this might be a little outside of your realm. It's so far outside of my realm. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Rep Milwaukee 414 said Mr. T. <laughs> I, no, bro. I, 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 I. I, whatever the chat says is what I'm gonna go with. I I, I have I can't even give you an opinion. I got you on that, OG. And I figured that when I picked it, but I was like, fuck it, it's mine. There you, you go. Uh, that doesn't matter. This it's, it's still good, it's he, still good money. He back said book T call Hulk Hogan the N-word. He did. Yeah, one of the he low did. lights. He was like, Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> one of the low lights. And he Wait, turned his head like, like here, here's a little a little unknown factor. Maybe y'all know if y'all know wrestling. You know the, the story of Harlem Heat when they first started wrestling as a tag team, that they were won in a poker game like some motherfucking slaves? That was the backstory. Colonel, I forget his name, but he won them in a poker game. And that's how they came to the ring. The most ignorant shit. Nobody even knew The Rock was black until last year. Shut up, Lars. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala. Kamala was also one of the most racist, stereotypical wrestlers of all time. <laughs> you, you had Along with Abdullah the Butcher. Listen, you had Yokozuna that was played by a Samoan. Very bad. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but Abdullah the Butcher and, and, and Kamala, hey, let's make black savages and make them wrestle and eat shit. Yeah. That'll really get him on our side. The Rock is Samoan. He's mm -hmm. also black. His daddy black. Rocky Johnson black. Johnson black. Mm -hmm. But who you got, Caddy? What do you think of my unpopular opinion? Is it still unpopular or is it popular? Is Booker T uh, black wrestler over The Rock? All right, chat. We need y'all to sound off, see what your opinion is, so we, so we can tally this up. I think... Mm. 
This nigga said Boogeyman and Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think that Booker T Don't is you. underrated. So I got to say, I got to say you got this one. Mm, Booker T. Booker T. <clears throat> what do y'all say, chat? Booker T. Or, so the choices for this are Booker T or The Rock. Okay. We, we could be here forever to talk about all the other black wrestlers. But the choices are Booker T or The Rock. Yo, these yeah, so just get Booker one or the other. Booker T, Booker T. Yoko put his ass in Lex Luger's face on the battleship. On the Intrepid. Bruh. That, I don't know how they did that, because that's a whole lot of ass. That was here in the city. And Matt, <laughs> MVP. MVP's dope, too. Grip kicks is a thumbs down mean you voting for nobody? I guess. I don't know. Booker T, Sneak King quotes, Booker T is the last wrestler I pick on PlayStation. That's okay. You pick any of them on PlayStation, I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Booker T, Booker T. It's Doink the Clown, Artez. If you're going to get the name in there, get the name right. He said Boink, he said Boink, the, Boink the Clown. He watches some porn. <laughs> He's like oinking and boinking. <laughs> <laughs> King Booker. Yes. Ron Simmons, first black world champion. Not in WWE. Well, I'd say just Ron a quick glance. You, you good money. Your, your unpopular opinion, sir, is actually the popular opinion well played, go, book, i won this for you well because played, i know real nice dudes like booker hey booker's regular shit he's regular shit best black wrestler is john <laughs> <laughs> but, is, but is that the, is that the dude that that he maybe had more than one press conference but he dropped the n-word and you could see him go oh i shouldn't yeah, that's, that. yeah that's booker t he did it on <laughs> live on air yeah hogan we coming for you nigga oh. <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to get a fine for that one. So it looks like I got that one out the box. Booker T, unpopular opinion. Brought a little wrestling to y'all. I know this wasn't as, as dope as those, but, you know. Was a SmackDown on N64 geared for, around the Rock? He definitely brought it that star power. The, the SmackDown show was named for the Rock. They created SmackDown for the Rock. They wanted to set up a secondary TV show, and the Rock was hot. So... Smackdown was named after The Rock because you say, I'm going to lay the Smackdown on your candy ass. That was his show. That's where it came from. Um, so, yeah. Bad News Brown. Bad News Brown was actually amazing, but they watered him the fuck down in WWE. Best Black Bowler. That's also me, Sneaker Files. Fight me. Uh, so now, the lace-up consists of a lot of shit this week, but we got to get the Combo Killer tournament started. Let's so caddy, this. I don't know. We ain't going to even. Timmy Tommy, do you want to speak to the people? We're probably not using you this week, but no. you can still speak, you disrespectful motherfucker. <laughs> Say something to the people, nigga. Don't work. Oh, uh, that's. Hold up. You're going to talk to these motherfuckers. Now, I don't brought you on here. Well, act right. Motherfucker, we will replace you. You know how many buses out there? Timmy Tommy. I'll we'll tell you to talk to these people. You talk to the people, okay? All right, we back. Timmy Tommy, you want to talk to the kick talkers? Okay, you sound up. Like, say with your chest, motherfucker. Next time, I would. What? Hold on. It's like, motherfucker, I will. That's why your mama ain't shit. She ain't shit. I tell Chase, go to hell. Your mama ain't shit, okay? Your mama is a, is a kitchen timer, motherfucker. Say something else. I have your ass buzzing in Pelican Bay. Now, you, you act right. Nigga got a master in pettiness. Look at him. You act right. Okay, he said he's sorry, Kick Talkers. Okay, we back. He looked like an abusive single mama. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we back. We back. We back. We back. Uh, Timmy said, I ain't talking if I ain't working. Jay Patterson, you <laughs> heard the conversation? I tried to cover the mic. He ain't shit. Uh, Tiny Williamson is overrated. Don Turner, we're not going to do this today. Caddy, please get us on, on track. All right, so we are going to do... I do, Q. The seating. So this means you're going to find out who you're going up against. Now, the bracket will be posted on Talking Kicks later on this evening after the show. The people who are participating will be tagged. I will not tell you what you are getting. You will find that out in the Final Four and the championship. So 
what we're doing tonight, we're doing the seating tonight, and then when does the competition actually start? The competition will start tomorrow. And what do they need to do to be competing? All right. So in order for them to compete, once you once you get seated and we start tomorrow, I will put it up in the Talking Kicks IG page. When the competition begins, you will have to post your combo killer pick. Now, if you make it past the first round, and you make it past the second round. If you make it to the final four, you will have to change pictures. Don't think you're going to ride that hot pit all the way to the championship. Because okay. what's going to happen is in the final four, you will have to pick a th- – we'll, we're going to let the kick talkers pick a theme. Okay. So that will probably be – Let's say episode six. The kick talkers are going to pick a theme. There's going to be four themes. And whoever's in the final four, y'all going to have to take one of those themes. And then we go on from there. But for these first two rounds, you're going to have to take a picture. You post it up. You use the hashtag talking kicks, hashtag TK combo killer. And then are we posting them up on the poll so we can tabulate the votes? Oh, it will be posted up on the poll. When is that going up? That will be going up as soon as they post their picture up. Okay. Now, if you don't use the hashtags, I can't see the picture. Unless they send it to us, right? They can send it to Talking Kicks. You can send it to us. Okay. I prefer you post it on your page and use the hashtags, but you can send it to us. Okay. So... It's going to be with one of our votes count, myself, Beards, OGs, and then everybody who's in the chat. Okay. So you have that, and you have the people who are going to vote on IG. So basically, you have five people voting. So the kick talkers count as one vote. And like the post up is one vote. Like so, whoever yeah. wins in the post up, got you. Okay. Yep. Let's get it. So I guess I will write down who we who we get so we have the seating figured out. So basically, we're gonna do this fair. All sixteen names are in this bag. So I'm gonna just shake it up. That's all I'm gonna do. Shake Hold it on, up. Feel my name right. Hold on, Caddy. You got some debates. Lars Young, that California killer, said it should definitely be a different picture every round. If y'all want to do a, a different picture every round, that's up to y'all. Hop Dog also said, why not do a different picture every round? Because some of these motherfuckers only got two pairs of socks, you rich bastards. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be okay. in the tournament. It if should you be got a race car. Hey, you got to have an extra car, extra tires, extra engine. Okay, now look, Large Young, you ain't going to be no different theme every fucking round, okay? We got three weeks to get this done, damn it. So, stop. Hold on, Large Young. You got to hold on over there. You better stop tripping, pimp. Mark S. Buster. Mark S. Buster. All right. So the first name I pull out of the bag is I'm laced underscore different. I'm laced underscore different. Mm -hmm. I'll be facing. And this person will be facing. 313 Retro Queen. Woo! 313 Retro Queen. I hope you keep track of this too. Yeah, I'm yeah. writing it down. Well, we got the video too if we fuck it up. So there's that. All right. The next person. What's up, OG Kicks? Underscore Fresh Kicks 3 underscore. Uh oh. Fresh Kicks in the building. And Fresh Kicks 3 will be going against. Black ass African. Black ass now black ass is coming fresh off a of victory. So <laughs> be warned. Be warned. All right. Up next we have Rep Milwaukee 414. Sneakerheads clothing line. The cheat code. That's HGH right there. We'll be going against. 
What up, Eddie Kane? ESJ Beasy. J Beasy up in this thing. TikTok right. is representing. All right. Up next, we have Lars Young. Uh oh. That's why Lars wanted new kicks every week. I got 40 million pair of socks. How some of these socks, nigga? And Lars will be going against dun, dun, dun. the millionaires. The millionaires? Mm hmm. That's a hell of a name. Millionaires. Okay. All right. Up next. That's your first eight. Yes, that's the first eight. For the uh, the next brackets, we have fee underscore F S F X S O D. Nigga, what? Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> uh, one more time again, please. Fee underscore F S F X O S D. Matrix code, okay. We got binary code in the building. Don't turn the silk caddy to black gymnasts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And C will be going against KB Fresh Kicks. Woo, you done pulled the goddamn chip. Woo, is is do we know if fee is a male or female? Fee is a female. Hey, gotta get it, mama. Gotta get it. Take him out in the first round. <laughs> Take him out in the first round. Let's Listen, I, I, I have no favoritism right now. Let's Show him what you're working with. But, but, you, but you know where I put my money at. But anyway, uh, up next. Ooh, there's going to be some good matchups here. Ali Vita. Oh, International. Ali Vita, who will Ali Vita be going against? Ali Vita will be going against Shy Fitness Tattoo Art. Sound like you're taking on a whole club. You got to make sure that we got the same feet. <laughs> Shy Fitness Tattoo Club? Tattoo Shy Art. Fitness underscore Tattoo Art. Okay. There we go, Ali Vita. All right. Up next, we have. Caramel Wonder. Yo, the ladies represent. I'm proud of y'all. They was like, listen, we ain't going down without a fight. I love it. I love it. And she will be going again. You know match better than us anyway. Oh, oh this is going to be a good one. These kicks. Oh, we got Ooh. the ladies breaking the house. And the last matchup. Yeah, these kicks, if you lose, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, owe, you still owe us Chick-fil-A sandwich. Let's see. The last one is Soul to My Soul. Soul to My Soul. Versus Nostalgic underscore Souls. Nostalgic Souls. So that is the matchup. It will be posted up on the Talking Kicks IG page after the show in the brackets. The rules will be posted up. If y'all want to do pick every round, we can do that. I, we need to decide that now. Yeah, you the you the uh, you you the uh, commissioner. What do you say, commissioner? All right, chat. Do y'all want to do that? I say yes. I say yes. Well, the board of governors says yes, so it's a new pick every round. All right. So when you post up the picture. Um, on Instagram, it'll have all the rules. I'm assuming it'll have all the rules and all that stuff and your timetables and all that. What's going on, Mish 54? And uh, uh, I think that's the first time I've seen that name. And the Kick Talkers. What's up, Mish? The Kick Talkers uh, agree. A KB new, Fresh Kick said, when you want the first pick, motherfucker, because I'm ready. And he called you a bitch ass. <laughs> he was like, when you want the first pick, because I'm, I'm, I'm loaded and ready to go now. And he called you a bitch ass. I will have you be on the lookout for the first pick to be loaded tomorrow. I will let y'all know when the first pick needs to be loaded. That's what's up. I'm, I'm, I I'm. want to say thank you to everybody who decided to participate. A lot of those names I haven't seen in the chat, but that really doesn't fucking matter. That means that the word got out and people got excited about it. So that's dope. Um, this is actually Caddy's brainchild. Giving Caddy all the credit for this. This is what he thought of. We didn't know if it was going to work or how it was going to work. And y'all got excited about it. We were shooting for eight because I'm always Mr. Shoot Low. If you get better, you're good. And we ended up with 16. So 
Um, good shit, Caddy. Good shit, Kick Talkers. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. And there will be a prize at the end. You will, you will get there some. Will be, there will be a dope prize at the end. There will be a prize at the end. So let's get into this. I guess we can go ahead and use Timmy Timer, you disrespectful motherfucker. Um, let's talk about this. This is what we, we should have talked about this last week. I think this came out a week ago. So, oh, hot dog, yes. Good luck to all contestants. Looking forward to seeing some dope combos. We need to read them names. We'll do the names again at the end. Yes, sir. Okay. And just a reminder, too, for y'all, this is just a clue. Um, as I see Artez's name in here, make sure you get your lotion game on. Artez, <laughs> Artez and um, Layback09 are the lotion king. There's never an ashy moment in their photos. Don't be out here like Caddy. If you got light skin ankles, pull your socks up. Caddy got white man ankles. Listen, but them ankles is moisturized. I'm not, but they white. We well, can't they, touch the they, they are already talking game in the chat, bro. It, it's good. I'm ready to black ass about to catch all this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's what I'm saying, bro. They that's what I'm looking it. for. <laughs> love it. Love it. So the list came out. This is uh, as a soul collector. These were the best selling sneakers um, of. This is quarter one, so I think I got the wrong list up. Hold up. This is quarter one. I want all of last year. So give me one second. I had the wrong list loaded because Caddy was late and he fucked me up. I'll try to blame that on me. Why you bullshitting? Why you bullshitting? Why you bullshitting? Why you bullshitting? <laughs> All right. No, this was the whole list. He don't know what he's doing. Look at him. I don't. I don't know shit. That's quarter two. These are all quarters. So hold up. Let me go to the list that I had for the kick talkers. Because I had a different list. And I thought I had it loaded, but I guess I didn't have it loaded. So give me a second. He ain't, he ain't had hit. You motherfucker. I can't stand Cat Like Jackson. He ain't had shit. I can't stand Cat Like Jackson. Just like a single mother. Ain't prepared for shit. You stinking motherfucker. Mm-mm. This is the wrong list. This is the only one I see. Look at him. Best is this his- your king? I hope not, because you definitely fucking know. <laughs> that's the case. Here we go. Best sneakers of 2018. So, this is best sneakers. This is just this is not the list I wanted. God damn it. Where is it from? Is it is it a high snobiety? How do you no, know? I think it was on um Soul Collector. He but been, I see the quarter breakdown, but there was a different list. He been drinking, drinking. Yeah, this is the quarter one list. God damn it. Q the Queen told she got a hole in her sock right now. She ain't shit. Thinking about all the inspiration to come. That might, you know what? I might have mis- just misread the list, and that was just for the quarter. The best selling sneakers of October. That's not what I want. We're looking for a new host on Talking Kicks. <laughs> I quit right now. I quit right now. So I think OG is looking for it, so I'm going I'm to go to a different topic. So the, so the winner... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the best-selling sneaker, but sneaker files. That list that I saw that said the best-selling sneaker was that one was from the quarter. It, it wasn't for the whole year. Hey, we'll just rock with what you got, bro. All right. So the list that I have here, well, let's start at the bottom of this list. And I know this ain't going to be right because it don't have the Concords on here. These are our outlet sneakers. I don't trust this list. Okay. Um, let me see what list. I got here. This is a a complex list. I'm trying to see. But it's just uh, the top 10. I can run them if you like. I don't know if this is the list, and the Concords is in this list. The Concords is yes. It's okay. That's that's probably it. That's probably the one I was looking for. Go for it. Uh, you want to see it up on the screen, or you just want me to call them out? You can show them on the screen for the people. 
right, let me get this. Right. I don't know why I don't have the list. I got all the quarter lists, but not the all year list. Cause you ain't shit. No, that's true. That's correction. That that's also true. So right. the winner of the combo killer tournament will be the new hope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. All right. So this is a complex list. Um, and coming in at number 10 of the best uh, sneakers of 2018 was the Concord 11s. But see, I think that's the best sneakers. I don't think that's the best selling sneaker. Oh, right. You want selling. You want money. Yeah, it was the best selling money. sneaker. See, you got to use all of your English. Because that what I when I said it seven times, I said the best selling. Oh, we shot out wide. The show's over. We were going for the combo killer tournament. The show's over. We out. <laughs> <laughs> I know we had the list, and I don't know why I'm finding the wrong list. All right, while OG's looking for that, let's talk about something that we kind of been brewing on for about a week, maybe two weeks now. And we just saw somebody, uh, 9 out of 10, made a post about it the other day. Okay, um, here you go. Uh, Soul Collector, these were the best sellers there we go. because of 2018. Thank you, OG, for saving the show. Yay. Way to go, OG. Save us. Go for it, brother. Stay All right. Ahead. So at number 10, the Nike Air Force One Low in cocaine whites. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that should never go out of style, I imagine. How would the hey didn't make the list? Yeah. Uh number nine, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. I'm shy. And I'm assuming that this is just anyone, not necessarily the one that they're showing. Because that's isn't that the sesame or something? That or that is that the butter? I'm not I'd be the wrong like butter. Butter. I think that's the butter. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How is that shoe number nine? I don't know, bro. The numbers must be crazy on that one. Jesus Christ. Coming in at number eight, it's the Nike Flex. Contact a lot of people buying them Jones at the outlet. I'm I was gonna say outlet specials for thirty five dollars. Famous footwear. Yep, it's famous footwear shoe carnival. Mm -hmm. Crazy. This is why they make you buy like when you try and get those concords. This is why they make you get the other shit because the other shit is apparently moving. Number seven, the Nike Revolution Four. That's also like an outlet shoe. Got to be another outlet. That's like a mall walker shoe. Mm -hmm. And I know I've seen that at Famous Footwear and at those shoes. It's just called Shoe Store and shit. Right, shoe right. Rack and all of that. I know I've seen that too. In the and window. shoes. In the, yep, in the window right there. And uh, number six is uh, the Vans Ward. I guess, is that just another name for the Van Low? I, I, I don't know. They all got different names, but I know the Soulmates. Uh, probably kept them in business by themselves. <laughs> All of these images came from Shoe Carnival. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says image via Shoe Carnival. So. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> I, I wasn't lying when I said it. Yeah. Uh, and now we're into the top five. Number five is the Nike Hirachi. Air that's, Hirachi. That's a tad misleading, seeing how you made four billion Hirachis. Like they, of course, it's the number five. There were so many Hirachis made last year. Yes, absolutely. Damn near everybody bought that red Hirachi. What's going on, DJ Maka? Hey, what's up, sis? All right, coming in at number four, it is your Jordan Concord 11. That's crazy. Billions man. and billions of Concord 11s. Only number four, though. How does that come in number four? That joint only came out like. It was one specific day. It's not like it sold the whole year. They made a lot of them motherfuckers. And then they did a restock today. How about that? And if you're talking about all, if you're talking about all Jordan 11s, there wasn't that many that came out in 2018. Well, apparently it was more than all them other shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes, DJ Walker. Vans are nice, but they feel like Chuck Taylor's on my feet. I got oh. I got to swap the insoles on those joints. I wonder if they're, I mean, I imagine they're not, 
But I wonder if they're counting the double sale. So if you bought them once from Foot Locker and then they sold on StockX. Mm, I don't know. I would uh, imagine number, not, but number three, the Chuck Taylor All Star Low. Look, when you drop the price to thirty dollars, that's just gonna fly off the shelves. Yep. I can't even can't even argue that. Chucks were butt nasty low this last year. You could get them for twenty five dollars. Last week you could got some for twenty five dollars. And they got the Converse outlets now, so you be hitting them joints maybe fifteen dollars. Speaking of which, if you got your Nike outlet pass, it also works at Converse this week. Uh, it does. Mm. Oh, yeah, that thirty percent. I think yep. it. So you can go to Nike. Tomorrow? It starts tomorrow. You oh, can go to Nike tomorrow. and use it, and then go to Converse and use it. But you can't go to Nike and then Nike and use it. Yep, them joints feel like you walking on concrete. I'm walking on concrete. Unless you got them, <laughs> <laughs> unless you got them 2.0. <laughs> that lunar line is a motherfucker. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, number two is going to be your Nike Air Max 270. Wow. Say it ain't so. I want to point out what Sneaker File said, with shoes like the Concords, all sizes count. Men's, GS, uh, preschool, toddlers. So that sales figure is inflated. I, that's, I get that. I get that. Yes, d -back, Chucks are classic. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not, just because I say they're uncomfortable, I am not, I am not denying their stature in the community. You know what the funny thing is? I would have thought that the, the um, Chuck highs would have did better. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah. them lows were the ones that were on sale. True. Them lows was, I mean, I was looking, and I looked several times and saw a pair for $25, and I was like, God damn. If they didn't look like Shrek, I would get them. But they looked horrible on my feet. Is there anybody other than me that is surprised that the 270 was number two? Um, I'm not, because that air shit, niggas is nuts for air. Listen, anytime you hear... Air and a number behind it. Yeah, everybody expects comfort, so they're gonna they're gonna want to test it out. If you hear air or max in it, like vapor max, people went and brought the vapor max because they wanted to see how comfortable it was. People going by the two seventy. Oh, I got to see how comfortable and that big ass air bubble on the back of it. You like? Oh, the I got curi it. Curiosity got you to number two. Wow. But I will say that I tried those on, so curiosity got me to try those on. Mm -hmm. And I damn near left the outlet with them. The only thing that stopped me was the colorway. Mm. But I, they were they were ninety nine dollars and then twenty percent off. And I damn near let they are very fucking comfortable, right? And that's that's big boy approved. Because I'm telling you, I'm waiting for that right color, the seven twenty. I like the seven twenty boot. Oh, I like that boot. The the black one. I don't like the white one too much, but that black one's not bad to me. All right, and numero uno, the Nike Outlet Tank Tanjun. Right, you know, Tanjun. 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 The Nike Tanjun. I wish they had the numbers behind this shit, but that's another outlet special. On the end caps, never sold out, always available. Always available. $5.99. God damn. You want a special price. <laughs> the hype bees only made the list twice. Ah, uh, the budget friendly Tanjun is your number one selling shoe of 2018. God, wow, man. that's all that crazy. Shit. That's like at 720s tomorrow. That's what Jamie White said. No monarchs on the list. <laughs> D back, you see it. You know, no monarchs this time. They they rode that horse to death. That's it's like over. A... They killed it. Ferrari getting beat out by a listen when you made those those rose monarchs that looked like Martin's face when he fought Hitman Hearns and shit was over. It was over. And they tried to they tried to catch on to the trend. Like, you know, speaking of wrestling, like our question of, of our uh, our uh, unpopular opinion, mm -hmm. when you gotta let that shit be organic. And for whatever reason, the monarchs caught on organically, and then they tried to catch on to it and they fucked it up. They tried to do that campfire special with the different green colors, and they did the Seahawks colorway, which is still expensive. They did all this other shit. Just let the cool shit be cool and leave it alone, Nike. Just keep pushing them out at fifty dollars. Spice Adams got onto them, and I, you know what? I blame Spice Adams. 
Spice Adams fucked up the monarch. <laughs> Spice Adams, damn it, you fucked up the monarch. The monarch was special. You fucked it up, Spice. Way to go. I hope you feel good about yourself, sir. What's the chat saying while I'm fixing this damn camera? Let's see. The chat saying GTC Real said the Tanjun is my running shoe. Okay. Okay. Pika Files says everybody in China wears Tanjuns and those motherfuckers fuck a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Jamie Patterson said it goes to show Nike is the king of the game. Okay. Um, GTC Reels also said I bought five pairs as gifts last year. Really? Tanjuns? Were they that cheap? Or are you that balling? I need to know because we can we we don't have a sponsor for the show. He might be he might have been talking about Chucks. Oh, okay. He might have been talking about Chucks. Okay. The Bunyan version of the Monarchs. Yeah, yeah. that shit's ugly. Yeah. Oh, that man hurts. Who did that? Let's get into uh, this other topic. I want to make sure that we shine some light. You know, it's Black History Month. Make sure that we get this out here. Um, there was a headline that was posted maybe two weeks ago that we wanted to get into. And again, because of the way the show flows, we didn't get to it. But we're going to get to it today. Shaq's affordable shoes for kids have sold over 120 million pairs at Walmart. Some mm. of those shoes are as low as $12.70. And most of the shoes are listed at $67.99. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. That's the Rebox. What's up? I have to go to Hampton and kill somebody right now. Uh oh. I, I, I was going on Instagram to um, bring up the picture of Shaq. Uh huh. And my daughter's Instagram came up with a little boy that I have to go kill. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to die. He's not going to finish. Is he doing his something freshman year? Is he no, doing he's, he's not doing anything inappropriate. Why is he got to die, OG? Because I've not met him. Welcome I, every time I go down there, he ghosts out. Welcome to college, OG. No, hey. no, no. He's got to die. Welcome to college, OG. God, so we're going to be looking for two new hosts next week. Yes, you will. OG and me going to be replaced. It's just going to be caddy. I'm okay. sorry for interrupting the discussion. I'm just saying, you know. Um, so Shaq, shoe selling. So I guess my question is for the chat. What do y'all think about that? Is there any nobility in this, or is it still whack? Are we still not fucking with them? And or are you buying shacks? Because I think this is a dope story. We've seen this several times with different athletes try and make this happen. Stefan Marbury, um, we got to see uh, the and ones ended up going to Walmart. Shack shoes. Somebody else I can't think of right now sells their shoes exclusively at like Payless or Kmart. Mm -hmm. um, but what do y'all think about this? I think it's great for Shaq. Um, he's supplying shoes for kids that can't afford, kids and families that can't afford more expensive shoes like Nikes or Jordans. Um, Shaq is still a big name. Yeah. So, you know, to be able to have, you know, a pair of shoes that say Shaq on it, some kids, that's that's dope to them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, I got a pair of Shaqs, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, I, I think I feel like most of the chat good for Shaq. I love the story. I think it's dope, but I wouldn't wear them. Um, these shoes aren't for me, but it's, but it's lit that a respected athlete is putting his name on an affordable sneaker. I think that's amazing. Um, I, I wish I could pinpoint when the shit changed, like when it was no, when it wasn't cool because and ones weren't crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's the Walmart tag. Oh, okay. Like I don't necessarily fair. think it's that. I think it's it's nobody want to say they got their kicks from Walmart. I th um, mm, I think because we now live in we live in a world where where name tags are looked at, brands are looked at, like. If it's not like, remember, at one point they was people were saying like, "You got a Reeboks? 
He was like, yeah, Reeboks was Reeboks yeah. was like buddies. Yeah. People was like, you got a Reebok? Even with Fila, like people was like, you got Fila's on? It was like, like my homegirl the other day said to me, she put up on Facebook, like, niggas still wearing starter jackets? And I'm like, okay, she just bougie, because starter jackets ain't never been whack. I was like, he's like, what are we, 12? I'm like, bruh, starter jackets are fire. What up, Illa Ills? Brother, he been spitting fire lately. I, I just gone. Don't don't hit us with the EP. Just go and give us the whole 12, 14 songs, man. Let us <laughs> man, let us break you off one time, you know, with the whole album. Yeah, Illa Ill said, "I support the affordable sneaker movement. Nothing wrong with it. I honestly think us as a community needs to stop patronizing people that wear them. We all might have had that time in life. That's very true. That is very true, and I can't be mad at that. They're, like." I don't see nothing wrong. Like if if that's what you can afford, that's what you can afford. But what if it's what you fucking like? Like, let let's stop let's stop putting them in the category of getting what you can. What if you mm-hmm. fucking like shacks? Is that okay? I absolutely it's okay. I mean, I think that you know that I, I was just answering the question in terms of kind of where the fall off came. You know, when the brand moved to you know just you talking about a discount store some people just you know they look down their noses to use an old phrase you know at that but absolutely if that's what you like then rock the heck out of them you know don't you know don't worry about what nobody says but you know i also agree i'm glad that he's in that space i'm glad that it's somebody you know that is a well respected athlete um and that is purposefully in that space, not just, well, I couldn't be any place else. So, you know, I believe that he chose just you look at a lot of the business decisions that he's made and the things that he does. He's very purposeful about, um, you know, the choices of his partner, his his business partners. It's not random. It may yeah. seem that way, but it absolutely is not. I've seen a couple of interviews and he's talked about, you know, that he looks for specific things and. Uh, companies that are built a specific way or in this particular case, you know, partnering with Walmart because he knows that, you know, families, you know, are, are going to be doing a lot of shopping there and he wants to be able to have his shoes uh, in there and affordable. And affordable. I, I think it was um, D Beck was saying that Walmart is the number one retailer in the world. So having them in that store um, makes sense. I, the reason that this kind of resonated with me and, and uh, hopefully uh, one of y'all can grab some of these comments out of here. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons that this resonated with me is because as black folks, this is February, God damn it. So I'm going to get my moment in. <laughs> we're coming and going. We're, we're getting mad at these high end white brands for having nooses and for having blackface and for doing all this shit. But then we're laughing at somebody who's rocking shacks, who sells the shoes at Walmart Walmarts are in specific places in your city for people that are specifically shopping at Walmart at a price point that people can afford. And sometimes they look just like those Jordans you like anyway. So how are you going to be mad at the people for rocking the expensive bullshit with the noose and then laugh at the people who rocking the shit that's made for them? You coming and going. You got to pick your battles, man. I ain't mad at Shaq. Um, Illa Ills hit on some shit that's real. It's it's honorable, but a lot of times these shoes that are cheaper or more affordable, let, let me say more affordable, let me not say cheaper, that are more affordable are not comfortable. We did, what was this, in Soul Food Days, we did the, the $20 sneaker challenge, and mm-hmm. I had my FUBU kicks, and they hurt like hell. They were affordable, but they fucking hurt. <laughs> uh, I think OG had the same issue. He bought some. They were affordable, but they fucking hurt. Dabs, I don't think Dabs even made it three seconds. He put his shit on, and he said his feet felt like they were on fire. I don't yeah. think he even took a picture. Um, So it's like, that's the tough part of it. But as a community, you know, as you see back here, I got, these are all black brands and or supporting us. The Talking Kicks shirt right there, that's a PE. Talking Kicks hoodie right there, that's us. Locked. This was from uh, another black vendor that I found online. Uh, And the two shirts right here, you can holler at uh, from FBFC Apparel and use our code UNITYISPOWER10 and get a discount. 
you got to make choices and we can't criticize we shouldn't criticize our own folks for making choices that support our own folks that are in their best interest so if you see in, in my opinion if you see somebody in some shacks first of all you shouldn't be giving a fuck with nobody wearing anyway but okay you decide you want to laugh and put them on instagram that's cool if you see somebody in some shacks give them a pass and laugh at that nigga that's got on burberry <laughs> that's what i'm saying all right i'm off that what, what's the chat talking about i mean i i think we they're all centrally you know just going around uh the uh the you know the same thought um uh sneaker file says uh not gonna lie 15 year old me would have had a fit at uh my mom if she came at me with some walmart shacks uh, i'm not gonna and, lie me too yeah sneakerholic me said uh i think it depends on the demographic and where you reside we could walk certain places with the dopest sneaks and people may not even care what we have on that is very true don't even know what the hell you got on. No idea. You know, spent five hundred dollars. Yeah, no I've done that at work. Walked in with a pair of joints on. They be like, "Well, those are flashy." Q the Queen says, "Sheen, bet not no man come pick me up in the day wearing a Walmart shack." See, Q the Queen. That's why the community fucked up right there. Q the Queen is not dating you niggas. Has got on shacks. See that? See that, brother? You trying to do well? You you know you got four hundred one k. You got your house. You got your second house. You got your cars. You even picking her up in the Bentley. You know what I'm saying? You doing it real big, but you got on some Walmart shacks. And she's like, no. And she looking like Soldier Boy, like shacks, shacks. <laughs> See, Q the Queen won't let you live your best life. Q the Queen, what you work with the kid? You work with the chillings. What you gonna do if they show up in some shacks? What do you do if the chillings? I need that answer, Q. Show up in some shacks. And you don't put them out here right now that they ain't shit. It's in the chat right there. You said it right there. Said I it. believe the children are our future. Will we support Jordan if he decided to take his brand to Walmart? Just a hypothetical. Yes. This is Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's it's backwards, right? Because Jordan's quality is not his his name is not in where they're sold. He's built up a legacy. If I can go to Walmart and get some Jordan ones. Sneaker Files said he won't even sh date Shaq if he shows up. In some <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> ah, that was good. Shaq knows. Shaq Gnosis. It, it was a very true statement. My ASICs get good looks up north, but I would probably get clowned on the west side around my people. Funny thing is, if you wore ASICs around here, like there's so many different type of shoes around here. It's like you could wear Asics up, Asics up here and it'd be cool. I remember at one point, New Balance, you couldn't wear New Balance in Saucony here. That's real talk. That's real they talk. would get, you would get clowned. They'd be like, you got on New Balance? When I worked at Shoe Carnival. Parents would be buying, uh, of course, they'd be walking out with uh, Saucony's and kids was crying in the checkout because they're like, damn, my God. Because you don't get four pairs of Saucony's for like $15. It wasn't shit. It was buy one, get one half price and get a third for free and shit. They were, ah. um, but yeah, it definitely depends on where you're at. Q the Queen said, mm -hmm. they kids. I also said before, I had affordable sneakers as a kid. You didn't see that part, did you? First of all, Q the Queen, I'm going to need you to watch your tone and your delivery. Oh, you, oh, didn't see that, you didn't see that nasty part she put after that, did you? Oh, no. Was it good? Uh, she said, listen, I won't date Shaq because I'm not sure how to climb him. Well, we're just going to move on. This is a family show. Well, okay, Brian Devereaux. This is a family show. We will not do that. Thank uh, you props to Shaq. You know, friend. Props to Shaq, man. Uh, let's see. Where are we at on here? So we're supposed to be ending the show in about three minutes. Not let's happy. just jump into the chat. I know this was all over the place. We got to go back through and get our, uh, our brackets, our seating, so we'll know who's competing. Maybe Caddy can go through the rules again one more time before he puts up the post. But OG, I'm sure that your handwriting looks better than mine. Y'all want to see some horrible handwriting? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to myself. I already did the Tim's this season. That's all the fuck you get from me. Uh, OG. <laughs> all right. So here, here are your brackets. Um, in the first eight, uh, we have I'm Lace Different versus uh 313 Retro Queen. Mm -hmm. Then we have Fresh Kicks versus Black Ass African. 
that's going to be a good matchup. Uh, in the fourth, or excuse me, in the fifth and sixth slot, you have Rep Milwaukee 414 versus SJBZ. And mm-hmm. rounding out that first eight, you got Lars Young mm-hmm. going up against the Millionaires. Okay. All right, in our second eight, uh, we have Fee F S F X the Matrix O S D versus. KB Fresh Kicks. That's a hell of a draw. God damn, you should have called in sick. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker got HGH, and I don't even know who you are. There's no disrespect, but I'm just saying, if you're telling me that I got to face uh, Mike Tyson in the first round, nigga, I'm sick today. Remember, <laughs> remember Buster Douglas. That's all I got to say. Hey, don't do that shit. <laughs> Light, lightning <laughs> can't right? can strike one time. In the next slot, we've got oh, Ali Vida versus shit. Shy Fitness Tattoo Art. Mm-hmm. I don't even like somebody named Doug because of Buster Douglas. <laughs> uh, in the next battle, we have um, Carmel Wonder versus Feast Kicks. V, I'm telling you right now, if you don't win, don't come home. And rounding out the second eight, Soul to My Souls versus Nostalgic Souls. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Those will be posted up tonight uh, along with uh, the rules of engagement. Correct, Mr. Jackson? Yes, sir. Working on the brackets right now to post up. I see Sneakerheads roll up in the show late. Uh, find out who he's competing against. Uh, some of these cats in here got HGH. Just want to let y'all know. What we mean by HGH is steroids. Uh, using uh, enhancement material. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, g- good luck. You know, I thought I was going to have to dust off a pair of the black socks and get up in this thing myself. Because y'all, the black socks... Look here. Y'all don't want none of this. Y'all out, don't want none of this. Out the first round. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Uh, but My yeah, work called it a scrimmage. <laughs> <laughs> Hater. Hey. <laughs> to her. Uh, so again, congrats and good luck to everybody who decided to participate and play with us. Uh, no pause. There will be a winner getting some things at the end. No pause. And uh, yeah, that's going up tonight. Uh, chat, anything y'all want us to talk about? I see y'all talking about this game. Zion has hurt himself again. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I, I also am with you, Don Turner. I don't think Don. I don't think that uh, Zion is going to be a superstar in in, in the league. Mm. I don't think he's going to be a superstar. You don't see a lot of Duke players become superstars in the league. It's another very good point. Mm-hmm. I just don't see it. It's not not because he's got a lack of talent or anything like that. I just don't see it. I think Caddy, OG, and Beer should do a combo killer contest. It's, Caddy would win. I don't, I don't have to do that shit. No. Caddy would win. First of all, Caddy has more elite shit than us. He's the only one that has socks that he really gives a fuck about. I think OG might have a few pair. Caddy has a thousand that he just don't show y'all. And I only have black socks. So I'm really, if I win, it's because y'all like me better. And I already know that that's not true. So that's not my thing at all. Grand Hill and Kyrie. You named two. How long has Duke been around? Because Christian Leitner wasn't shit in the league. He was a service, a serviceable big man. We not yeah. even gonna get in the Cherokee Park. <laughs> Cute Queen said, let's talk about everything. We got to we got to end the show at some point. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with the dunk contest? They need – we could always – all of us have a way of fixing the dunk contest. Adding some of these high school cats or these nine league dunkers to the game would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Just bring me some and one dunkers or some of these cats that's playing in these rec leagues or, or Juco. It's a lot of cats at Juco. I know a dude that had to go to Juco because he couldn't get grades for shit. They're yeah, he- never going to do it. His dunks was crazy, but you was never going to get him to get no grades. It wasn't going to happen. But Duncan, oh, he had that shit faded. If Lee Daniel goes to jail because he helped Jussie, should my nigga. 
if you tell me that Lee Day you said something to do with this fuckery cuter queen, yeah. I swear to God. I swear to God. Can we are we gonna talk about that? Can we talk about that? Go ahead. Ain't nothing been confirmed, but go listen, ahead, Kenny. Listen, if this man done sat here and say he got beat up at a video surfaces of him riding the elevator with these dudes, bruh, you might as well kill his character on Empire. I I, I need his whole character killed on Empire. So at 9.51, there's a CNN headline that says he's been charged with a felony. Alleging, Ooh, Jesse? Yes, alleging filing oh, a oh, false oh, police oh, report. Oh, 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 oh. Here's all I can say about this. And it's because it's February and it's because I, I'm who I am. If he gets charged and tried, then go get that bitch that lied on Emmett Till. Listen, listen. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Go get that's, that bitch that lied. There's two him. people that ruined Black History Month. Jesse ruined Black History Month and John Collins when he tried to jump over that airplane. He tried to dunk us to freedom. Listen, you can't, you can't, you cannot break out the Tuskegee Airmen and try to jump over the plane from Kitty Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> and destroy the damn plane. <laughs> you had us back 150 years on that. You like, bruh. You can't get out here with the red tails hat, like, and put on the goggles like you was about to fly. You can't and look dumb as hell and did a simple dunk and hit the plane going up and hit the plane going down. Bro, that right there, I was ready to turn off the TV. I was like, it was bad. Like, yeah, he broke the shit out that joint. It was bad. It was bad. But I'm dead ass about what I said. If Jesse, if Jesse ends up getting tried, fuck the indictment. If we go into trial, this ain't some shit that's gonna get brushed on the rug. Go get that bitch that lied on Emmett Till. Go get her because she admitted the shit that she lied. That motherfucker's dead. Listen. I saw something else that we missed in the chat too. Um, integrity. They're talking about Steve Harvey versus Monique. So they had a conversation on his show. I saw that. And ultimately, Steve Harvey said, It's a money game. It's a money game. I can't stand up for my integrity if it's going to cost my family the income. Mm hmm. But he, he said that before in, in the stand up he did. For ten million dollars, he will act like a monkey. He was not playing. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not a fan of using people's stand up as a as a tether to who they really are. I'm not a fan of that. And I if understand having, that, huh? That's I understand that. Go ahead. But if you're having a regular conversation and you mm -hmm. say that sucker shit, then we we having something different on stage. People say all kinds of shit because it's for the joke. I've said several things on the show that I've said just for the joke that ain't real. Um, but what he said, and, and the the difference for me, because I know that a lot of us have had to swallow our pride or some portion of our integrity to keep a check at twenty thousand dollars a year, thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand, whatever it is you're making. Mm -hmm. Steve Harvey is a millionaire that has an entire fucking network, and my thing is, at what point do you have to stop playing the game, like? We never, I haven't heard a black person get to the point in this country where they can say, I can finally stand on my shit without worrying about the repercussions. You got, there's very few, you got the motherfucking uh, Muhammad Ali's who did this shit at his prime and lost his career because he was on that shit. A lot of people ain't willing to do that. You know what I mean? And so I'm looking at the common thread because a lot of people agree with Steve Harvey. I understand that. I don't, I don't agree with it. I understand as a black person who has done that in certain instances on a much smaller scale um, for 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, whatever you're making, but you have a fucking empire. And if you're at the point where you have an empire and you're influencing people, you're on your own TV show made with your own producers and you're able to bankroll shit. And you're saying that this is the money game and I can't stand up for my integrity. 
because it's gonna cost me the bag? Nigga, what the fuck is you doing? And I think the crazy part about it was is that he said it with no hesitation. It was without a fucking thought. He went and let that go easy. Boom. I can't, you did it the wrong way. What the fuck is, can someone please tell me what's the right way to protest? There is, a protest is a protest. We know that. We've had that discussion here. However you want to protest is how you protest. So to tell somebody you need to protest, but. This way. You need to to go about it this way. Yeah. You need to protest quietly so they won't hear you protesting so that you can still get paid like me. Like that's. It felt it felt really bad. And it felt really bad that the conversation was had in front of the world. And it felt really bad that y'all made me agree with Monique. I was I was dead set on not agreeing <laughs> with Monique because I thought this shit was ridiculous. You don't deserve that much money, damn it. You're not that funny. That's how I felt. And I felt it in my shondo. And then Steve Harvey got his ass on TV and said that sucker shit. And I was like, well, you ain't shit, Steve. And I, I knew think, that for a while, but I really felt like you ain't I shit. I think what made it worse was the fact that you had people clapping as he was saying it. Like it's yeah. money game, and then people were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, Steve." It was, it was a rough moment for me. Like when I saw it, it hurt. Not because I expected Steve to be any different. I just can you can you pretend? <laughs> can can you can you front? Like if you gonna front, can you please front like you got some integrity? You just went out there, and I mean, you might as well. Sauce shoe boss. Master, we sick ass, face ass. I I watched that shit and I watched when um DJ Envy was talking to Killer Mike on the Breakfast Club. And he was trying to to tell Killer Mike that public schools ain't shit. And I just there's an undercurrent. I don't I won't even say undercurrent. There's a huge overcurrent, overabundance, and a popular opinion that black shit is lesser. Be it material goods, be it uh ideas, be it even your own fucking integrity. You know how many times I've had people tell me that because they white, they should get some shit some other way that it ain't even in policy. I do travel. And people would be like, well, uh, well, you guys should be calling me specifically. Bitch, entire airport is closed. Well, we send a lot of money your way. I- I'm going to talk to somebody. That's not, that's not how this shit works. The entire airport is closed. But they said that shit with confidence because that's, they believe that's how this shit's supposed to go. The moment you say something about racism or you say something about black pride, People are immediately mad at you because that's the wrong way for it to be done. And I think that a lot of times we feel the same way. Our own investing in our own shit is not necessarily the right way. Standing up for our own shit is not necessarily the right way. Being proud of our own shit is not necessarily the right way. And that shit gets old. And we end up talking about boycotts of shit that we can't afford anyway. I ain't boycotting Burberry. I ain't boycotting Gucci. I can't afford that shit. It's not a boycott for me. But I also take the extra time to do this shit like this in the background and seek out black people shit. So you're not going to hear me talking about some no integrity. That's crazy as fuck. Go ahead. What you see, OG? I'm, I was just looking in the, um, just listening and looking to see if there was uh, um, any comments. You know, this conversation we were really going to have, it should have been in the beginning. Because it's really complex for me. It's not simple. You, you can't expound on that or no? No, I mean, I, I, I'll try. You know, I, I talk long. So um, I think that there was true words in, in terms of in the, 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 um, the stuff with Steve and, and Monique. It was, it was truth coming out of both sides. Um, I think that 
the conversation was in the wrong place. They should have never done that. They should have never agreed to do that. Steve should have never agreed to do that. And she should have never done that. But it, it, because anything that you said, I feel like don't disagree with anything that you said um, about the uh, the comments that he made about his integrity. But Caddy, I think the people were clapping up until the point that he got to the integrity word when he was saying, we black out here. Now, if we was in a barbershop and somebody said that, you might not like how that tastes, but there is a reality in that statement that sometimes whether you want to um, whether you want to acknowledge that for yourself, that it's a reality, or for some it may never be a reality, and for some it is a reality, there, there is that thought and that reality that sometimes you have to move a different way because of the hue of your skin. That's a, that's a conscious choice that an individual makes, but that's, that's, that's a real statement, that's a reality for something, for, for, for individuals. Um, and, you know, I, I, I can certainly say that in the 55 years that I've lived, I've, I, I've, I've lived that. I've seen it, I've had it thrust upon me, and I've, I've made conscious choices to move a certain way for certain things. Um, but I, I was I was disappointed because that was a private moment. That was a conversation that should have always been a private moment. And going back to the beginning, I felt like when the first thing came up with Monique was that I hear what you're saying, but I also know that this is their business. And if they choose to value you in that way, that doesn't mean that that's what you're worth. That just means that they're saying they're not going to pay you that check. You wouldn't be, you're not the first. And unfortunately, you're not going to be the last, at least in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, but, the, you know, but there, I think also that there's a whole bunch of other stuff that happened. You know, I don't want to go and do the tit for tat thing that, you know, that like, recording somebody's conversation that you had in private and then going on a public forum and playing it for the whole world to hear that's that's foul yeah um but it, it was just an unfortunate situation the thing with with killer mike and and um dj envy yeah dj envy it was interesting i didn't necessarily feel like i that I don't necessarily equate necessarily public school to always being black because they're public schools where there are no black people and some of those schools are not good schools. That's right. Um, I, I was just going to say, sorry to cut you off, but not all private schools are good schools either. Absolutely. Because I've been in private school. I, I will admit I've been in private school my whole life. Christ the King was great four year high school for me, but that shit was a public school with private school tuition. Right. That's all it was. Continue. I, I, no, I, I felt like they both were making good points. And I, you know, I under as a as a you know a parent that's had you know a child in both public and private school. Um sometimes you know for us it was a choice more about the individual child and what their what their needs were more so than wanting to pay or not pay because i can tell you when we got those two girls out of daycare the thing camille and i used to always talk about is i can't wait till they go to public school so we don't have to pay this tuition yeah and then you know being you know looking at situations and not not being able to necessarily have that luxury you know were um uh, you know, what, what was a different thing, but I, I, I just, it's just complicated, man. We are, you know, I hear people say all the time, some of the different talk shows and different things that I listen to, we're, we're not a monolith as a people, we get lumped together, but we don't all think the same. We don't, we don't have the same, just like anybody, we don't have the same experiences, but we're supposed to, like, if somebody thinks one thing, then everybody's supposed to kind of move that way. And, you know, it's it's not always uh, it's not all that always that way. I hope that some of the things Steve said to include the integrity comment, he wished he could suck back in his mouth. He did. He already said he wished he could have taken it back because I, I feel like kind of in the heat of the moment, 
Maybe he didn't choose the right word. And if he did, wow, mind blown. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I, I hope he wanted to take that back just like he wanted to take back going to, to Trump Tower. And, and and some other things, you know, I mean, in retrospect, I, I can, you know, be transparent enough to say that in my life, there's things that I've done or said that, you know, after thinking about it or it being, you know, kind of reflected back to me in a different way. It's like, yeah, I, mm, I, I, I wish I could take that back. I think it's the extended context that made it sting even more. You know, like you said, the Trump Tower thing, the yes. fact that you've been married 75 times, you write marriage books, the fact that you had beef with Bernie Mac over him getting the show and the money like in the right. context of what the fuck goes on there's a lot of shit in your character that makes you look like a fuck nigga and then you got on tv and exposed yourself to look like a fuck nigga regardless of the fact that you do all these great things and have these different groups for young men and young young black women and coming around the context of what you've done almost makes that shit look like nothing and that's kind of what it was agreed um, agreed agreed it, yeah, it, yeah. It, and that's why I say it's complicated because you have, you know, you have some very valuable things on one side and then you have this crap on the other side, just like, you know, and, and again, not to try to do the tip for tap, but just an example, like I was saying, there's things in terms of even in going through the process that, uh, you know, that Monique said, but the other things that she did, it was like, wow, you know, I, I really want to root for you. But then when you do this, it's like you really, you know, I, I can't necessarily, you know, raise the banner for you, you know, because you you you're not owning some of the fuckery that you you know put into the pot. Yeah, no, that's real shit. Um, if y'all haven't seen that Killer Mike and DJ Envy conversation, definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. It was really dope. The the context of me saying it was a black public schools was because it was killing Mike's sort of content. Right, and he was talking about the Georgia schools oh, and specifically in Atlanta. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was interesting to even hear, even in that conversation, that I don't know how, I, I personally don't know how DJ Envy identifies. If he identifies as black, if he's light-skinned, if he, I don't know his race, nationality, creed, none of that shit. What I do know is that he, he always seems to look down or talk down to motherfuckers. In the, in the context of even that, like he said, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. And he's like, nigga, you made it. You an entrepreneur because you was a DJ. Like, you made it. Like, there was, there's steps. There's level to this shit. Right. <laughs> it, it was like, you know, damn. Uh, Somebody said he's black. I don't know. I, you know, I don't I mean, he's a Hampton grad, you know, and that doesn't necessarily have to mean that he gets a, right. it, that. That's all that I know. You know, if somebody exactly. would ask me, that's I, what I, 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 don't, I don't follow him well enough to know. I know that. Usually in interviews, he's the last one I'm listening to because he doesn't offer up a lot of shit that I want to hear. Mm -hmm. Even just an interview. I'm not talking about my own personal ears. I mean, just listening to him do interviews, he's not really good to me. Charlemagne's amazing. Angela Yee comes in every once in a while and shit. But it, it was interesting. When you start looking at the shit around DJ Envy and looking at the shit against Killer Mike, they're, they're fucking polar opposites. So that conversation was dope. It was dope. Check that well, out. Well, I don't necessarily say that I would. I think, I don't know that I would say they're polar opposites because Mike was also saying that there was a lot of things that he was doing that he was saying, you know, I do this and I do that. And he says, and who calls you and, and tells you that, you know, that bigs you up and, and says, hey, you know, that points out you did great stuff. So I think that they do have some similar mind, but it goes back to that, you know, we're not a monolith and you it's, you're, you're 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 built off of the experiences and the places that you come from and they come from two i guess and maybe that gets you back gets me back to your statement polar opposite their exp their life experiences are, are are wholly different yeah yeah because he was bigging them up on financial moves right he was bigging them up on that other bullshit you know um but it's worth checking out it's worth checking out we absolutely i i got much to I wasn't that familiar with Killer Mike, just to be 100 transparent, but I saw some other things. I saw that he was actually um, on, uh, I think it's on NBC with um, a sister, uh, Joy. I can't think of her last name that does one of the newscasts. She has this thing called uh, Joy in the Morning, and they had, had a little spat on Twitter, and they, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, did the public, you know, kind of, we good, you know, this is what I meant, this is what you meant. 
and he's a Morehouse bro, so you know that's hey, I, 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 I gotta root for him. I, he's, he's a smart, I gotta root for him. Smart brother, man. Uh, smart definitely, brother. definitely. Um, so yeah, trigger warning uh, on on uh, Netflix. Check that out if you want to. It's Killer Mike, six different episodes. I feel like two of them are real episodes, and the rest are cartoonish. But yeah, okay. look at that and figure that out yourself. Um, yeah. So I guess that's kind of the show. That's kind of a wrap. We'll have a post coming up tonight or tomorrow talking about the brackets. Caddy will lay out the rules for you. This is Caddy's yeah. point us. Um, I'm your man, Be a Jedi, saying thank you again for rocking with us, Kick Talkers. This is Talking Kicks Season 8. This has been Episode 5 featuring the Kick Talkers. We out. We'll see y'all next week. Uh, thanks again for rocking with us, man. Hey, you're done, no, it is your boy, OG Sneakers. Great show. Appreciate it. Good luck to all of the combo killers. We know that you are furiously going through your closets and your uh, sock drawers trying to pull out your heat and your heaters, but understand that it's not one. It might be two. It might be three. It just depends on how long it lasts, but good luck to you. And hey, we appreciate you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Uh, family, as always, it's your boy, Cadillac Jackson. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Come out here with your heat. Come out here with your sock gang, 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 and do your thing out here. May the, the best person win. Go crazy. And we'll see you next week. King Booker. <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Whoa, whoa, hey, <laughs> <laughs> we got <it>, family. <laughs>